Right, gentlemen, you professionals, you know the rules. Keep it clean, listen to my instructions, defend yourself at all times. Good luck, lads. Shake hands. See McCormack just looking to draw the lead out of Andino. He's not taking the bait, though. That was a good dipping right hand from McCormack, although Andino was off balance. He certainly felt that. 25 seconds to go in the opening round. Already longer than McCormack has travelled in his pro career so far. Yeah, he felt that one, Andino, that's for sure. Good right hand, though, back from the Argentinian. He took the sting out of the shot, though, McCormack. Dino determined to make this as messy as he can. He's already covered a fair amount of mileage on those feet. And we're not yet at the halfway stage of the second round. Again, always moving to his left, and Dino, so expect to see that right hand creep in from a callback. Throwing the right to the body there, around the side, and Dino complaining. Bring his feet in a bit quicker, McCormack. Just following Andino at the minute. He's just got to bring those feet in, cut the ring off, and try and pin Andino into the corner or onto the ropes, and then he can get his shot or shots off. But McCormack a lot better when he's at arm's length. Can fight in the pocket, but when he gets full leverage onto the shots like he does there, they really are hurtful. Yeah, really working that right to the body now, McCormack, trying to slow those legs down of Andino, right hand over the top, followed by the right to the, the side of the... Well, I think he was complaining it was around the back there, Andino. But he can disguise that right hand, McCormack, throwing a lot to the body. If he could faint that to the body and come back to the head, I'm sure he'll have success. Good right uppercut. The ambition of Andino is all based around damage limitation from here. A minute gone in the third round. The longest so far that Pat McCormack has travelled in his professional career. As he tries that wicking right hand once again. Over the top, didn't quite connect, tried it twice in a row. Yeah, they were spiteful, hurtful looking shots, but credit to Andino. He managed to slip and slide and roll and avoid the shots. Fascinating, Darren, to listen to Ben in the corner talking about where to put his arms in the close quarter exchanges. Yeah. All part of the, the learning process in the professional world. And these rounds would be valuable just for that, Mike. You know, understanding how these fighters who have that experience know how to manage, certainly inside, tie up your opponents, lock in the arms, and it's right what Ben was saying, they get your arms inside and you can sneak in the odd shot through the middle, up with the uppercuts. But again, credit to Andino. He's moving, he's staying out of trouble. He's starting to turn the screw slightly, McCormack. Really launching in the right hands to the body, changing the levels like Ben has asked for. Always keeping Andino guessing. But the Argentinian has been a nightmare. All in short, the jab there, he could be a lot busier. I feel McCormack's got a beautiful jab. Just keep popping it out. Hope that Andino will try and look for something. And he can fire back with blistering, sharp counter punches. See Pat McCormack there trying to draw out the lead of Andino. He's not taking the paint though, the Argentinian. This his third professional contest against Christian Andino fighting outside Argentina for the first time and making McCormack miss with that right hand once again. 
He's been trying to make it awkward throughout the course of the first four rounds so far. McCormack gets through with a clipping left hand. Antonio does have an uncanny sort of knack to be able to take the sting out of shots when McCormack has landed the right hand. He's not been at full power, if you like, and that's down to Andino. Just swaying back, you slip either side. Moved so much. Again, talk about experience, spending time in the ring. This will do McCormack the world of good. You'll understand as well, you're not going to have it all your own way, though there is a lack of desire from Andino. <laughs> Andino, like McCormack, 27 years of age, began his professional career in promising style with 13 straight wins, but has lost four of his last six as he's gradually moved up in grade. I'm not sure if many see the, the, the picture of Galau Yafai's foot in Abu Dhabi, the big blister that he had, and I can imagine Andino has probably got one very similar with the amount of moving that he's been doing. For six rounds, he's not stopped, he's frustrated Pat McCormack. But we talk about experience and getting invaluable experience, this would do Pat McCormack. You can hear the reaction of the crowd yeah. there to that moment of showboating from Andino. Yeah, this is doing good, Mike. It's hardly shown the most ambition we've seen in a ring in Britain from an Argentine. I can't imagine Eddie would be in a rush to bring Andino back to these shores. Ladies and gentlemen, after six rounds here at Wembley, we go to referee Reese Carter's scorecard. It reads 60 to 54. For your winner, he's still undefeated, Pat McCormick. And it's McCormack's turn to do a little dance as the Official verdict is announced by David Diamante. It's three in a row for Pat McCormack, and for the first time in his professional career, he's taken the distance, and Ben Davis and Lee Wiley in the corner, known for their studious approach, and there'll be plenty to take from those six rounds. Three in a row for Pat McCormack. <laughs>